So we've parked up by the Angles Rest. We're not stopping for a beer just yet. Got to do the walk first and then we'll finish with one. So the first bit of our walk is along the Monsal Trail. There's lots of these old buildings on the side from when it used to be a railway line. We're going to be following that river later on, but for now we're just on the trail. So you can park here by the old Monsal station. We're here on a midweek evening, so it's all closed up, but usually there's a shop with refreshments there as well. Coming to the bit of the trail where there used to be a lot of old heavy industry, the old lime kilns. Here's a very prominent sign of the old industry that used to be here. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. They're not used anymore, obviously. Now it's more for nature. Lots of bats and birds that nest in there. Now for the fun bit. I'm gonna drop down off the trail and follow the river along, head towards the stepping stones. Oh God, as you can see by that rope dangling from the bridge behind me. It's a popular abseil site. There's a whole bunch of school kids up there about to come down. Very brave for some of them, I'm sure. Certainly a lot cooler now we've dropped down to the dale as well. Last time I came here a couple of months ago, it had been really dry, so nothing had really grown yet. Now all the greenery's just exploded. See, this is why I love living in the peak rather than London like we used to. Being able to close my laptop down and then half an hour later be in a place like this can't really be beaten. So we're in the beautiful Millersdale. It's just opened up a little bit for the section of the river we're in. This whole area and all these dales that are connected are all part of an area of scientific interest. So a great place to come to see a bit of wildlife and nature. There's a series of these wooden walkways along parts of the river. We're gonna to get to the more exciting bit later on though, where the cliff really cuts in and you have to take the stepping stones across. certainly bits you need to watch out for, just like those steps back there. They can be very slippy for where so many people have walked over them and polished the limestone. It's actually dry today and it's still slippy. I love this little bit here, just where the water's flowing through all the rocks and the greenery to meet the main river wide below. into the Cheedale section of the dale. As you can see, all the walls are rising up around us. This section is particularly popular with climbing. I've never actually climbed here myself, but it always looks really good when I've come for a walk. We're now at one of the main reasons I wanted to come down here tonight, to show off these stepping stones. A lot of people always go to the Dovedale stepping stones, and certainly at the weekends at the moment, you're seeing photos of it really crowded, really busy. Uh, I actually think these ones are far more beautiful in a cooler location. So it's quite narrow here, as you can see. Just had to jump onto a stepping stone out in the river to get past these people. Thank you very much. Cheers. The 
bonus of these stepping stones as well compared to the dovetail ones. There's two sets of them. We'll see the second set in a minute. I do like how it keeps taking you up and down close to the water then high up around it. You really just move with the landscape. In this part of the dale you can really see where the water's cut away at the rock. On that other side it's all really undercut which makes for very good but very steep climbing and quite spectacular scenery. The paths are always very narrow. Oh and we're at the next stepping stones. As you can see here the reason that the stones are there is to help you get past these parts of the river. The rock cuts over the river so much there's just no path. Be careful if you're going to come here after a lot of rain because sometimes the stepping stones can actually be underwater. I'll try and find the Facebook page that tells you if they are underwater or not and link it down below. Oh, a bit of water just dripped down my neck. Do you think these stepping stones look more dramatic than the dub stones ones? If so, let me know down below in the comments. Looks like it's nice and sunny up above the dales. We're not getting too much that right now. This walk today was actually recommended to me by someone on the UKC forums. I'm really sorry, I can't remember who it is off the top of my head. So thank you for recommending it. It's been a really good walk so far. And that's it for our bit along the river. We're now gonna climb back up the steps, onto the trail and back along to Millersdale, that's it. <laughs> Gonna climb back up the steps, back onto the trail, and back to Millersdale for a pint. So we're back on the bridge, on the trail above the river, and the sun is really shining. That's better. got scenes like this in the UK. So now that we're heading back along the trail, back to Millersdale, we'll get to see some different kind of scenery. This time it's going to be tunnels. This first one, the Russia Cutting Tunnel, is only a little short one, but you'll see when we get to the next one, some of them are quite long. This is a longer one that I believe is about 400 meters long. It has got lights in it, but they do turn off at some point. The times that the lights turn off in the tunnel reflect daylight hours, so don't go going in there after dark because you might get caught out. Into the void. So we're about in the middle of the tunnel now. As you can see, it's pretty dark even with the lights on. These only opened up in, I think, 2011, which made the whole of the Monsal Trail really accessible. You can go from one end to the other about eight and a half miles without ever going off the flat trail. Out of the cold, wet tunnel, back into the sunshine and warmth. So you'll now be able to see where we've done a loop because we're back at the bridge where the kids are abseiling. What I'll do is leave a map link down below. So if you want to come and do the walk, you can follow that and do it. Now that we're back on the trail, it used to be an old railway line. There's all the industrial buildings again. Something to go and explore if you like that sort of thing. So we're back off the trail, heading back down the path towards the Angler's Rest, ready for a well-earned beer. We're gonna get a 
pint now. But if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to help the channel grow and share these walks to a wider audience. I'll leave some links about locations from today's walk in the description down below. But if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to comment. I'll make sure I'll answer it best I can. Thanks for watching. Not a bad place for a drink. <laughs>